I became a volunteer when the crisis started. I really wanted to do something productive with my time because I'd been furloughed. I'm not working and I felt like I couldn't sit around the house all day. I felt bad doing it as I know there's many people that can't go out. I can go out and I can do things so I felt like I needed to do something with my time. I'm volunteering with the Olive Branch at the moment and they're running a food bank. They've always had the food bank going but now it's even busier than normal. Usually people would come and collect their food but now we're having to organise deliveries so it's been very very busy. Um, I chose the Olive Branch because I wanted to give my time to an organisation that helps all members of our community, including asylum seekers. My full-time job is based in Nigeria, and my colleague works with asylum seekers. So meeting people from different cultures within Lancaster is something that interests me. I've met loads of amazing people from around the world volunteering at the Olive Branch, so it's been a really great experience. The first time I went to the Olive Branch, I was shocked at how much food was in the hall. I thought, wow, this must be feeding so many people and it was so busy. I didn't expect to be doing so much. It was a bit scary, but once I learned where everything was, it was fine. Um, I help make the parcels to send out to people, as well as volunteers like me that are packing the food. There are volunteer drivers that are dropping all the parcels off to the families. So there's a lot of people involved now. Um, But I think it's way better this way, it's much more safe um, and you couldn't have people coming and collecting things. When we get to the olive branch in the morning we have a little bit of a chat. Some people you've not seen for a bit, you see how they're doing and then we start to get people who are referred. So we get a list and it might say two adults or two adults, five children and then we start to put together those packages. And at the same time, we're also doing packages for asylum seekers, which we do separately. So those packages are slightly different. I always think about what I put in them as well. So if it's for families, I think, oh, what would they like? What treats do they like to eat? We do that for maybe two hours and then we have a little break and a chat and then we do it all again. And then that's the end of the day. Um, And in that time, the drivers are coming and collecting the parcels and taking them out as well. I love it now, Um, I know exactly what I'm doing and everyone that works there is so kind and it's like a little family, Um, everyone's always happy to see each other, yeah it's a really lovely environment, a really nice place to be. Even if I have a bad day and I think oh this week I can't do lockdown anymore, you go and you just come away feeling really positive. Um, It's been so nice meeting different people that are also volunteering, otherwise you can get quite lonely during lockdown. You just don't talk to people now, Um, you're not out and about, even in the shops. I don't have lots of friends here and as my boyfriend is at work I've been on my own at home a lot. Um, I've met some lifelong friends since I started volunteering and I've never felt more a part of the community than now. Um, I've met people in normal life who our paths wouldn't cross. Maybe we don't have things in common or we just come from different backgrounds. And we've had the most amazing conversations and I've learned about their life and their culture. Um, That's probably been the best thing about volunteering. But then the other good thing is when you finish at the end of the day and you've made all these parcels and you know that it's going to make someone happy. Yeah, you've done something positive with your time rather than sitting watching TV, um, and it's good to know we're making a difference. I've learned about the different types of people and circumstances, I guess, that are happening around me. Maybe I knew it before, but I didn't ever really have to think about it, as I'm quite lucky, I'm privileged, and I haven't really ever struggled. You know, this is my home country and I've always lived here, so I've never really had to think about it. Uh, Even when we put food parcels for the asylum seekers and refugees, it's so different. And it's obvious if I went to a different country, I would want to eat foods that were familiar to me. It makes you think a lot about other people and their situations. Hopefully, I'll be able to go back to work. But also, I'd like to keep up the volunteering. I've really enjoyed it. It's the highlight of my week. Um, I don't know why I only started now. I was thinking that I should have done it since I moved here. So yeah, it's made me realise that it's something I need to carry on. And all the people I've met, I wouldn't want to lose touch with them either. I think I've learned that community is really important and to not feel isolated, you actually need to just put yourself out there and go out and do things. Um, I've also learned that people are helpful and everyone wants to help each other. 
Um, like our neighbours until now had never really spoken, but now you do. Even when I speak to people in the supermarket, the cashiers, you always have a bit more of a conversation because you want to speak to people and you think, oh, they might be living alone, they might not get to talk to someone. It definitely makes a difference.